What's up guys? Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've made my last video. Kind of been in basic training for the past two months. And then on top of that, another two months here at Goodfellow Air Force Base in San Angelo doing my tech school. So fire protection, it's been a lot of physical, a lot of physical stuff. Um, just day in, day out, waking up at 0300, 0330, and then going all the way to about 1500. So days are pretty long, so that's why I've been having, that's why I haven't made a lot of videos. And that's why I haven't, you know, I haven't really had time because I'm so tired all the time and want to just have my own time and just chill and whatnot. Plus, I haven't really known what to make a video about, but I guess I'll just talk about briefly basic and whatnot. So I was part of the 323rd training squadron. Anytime, any place, Mustangs for all you people out there that are thinking of going. Hopefully, you get put in the 323rd. Good squadron. Uh, all I can say is that anything you've ever heard about basic. Um, like experience wise not so much structure wise as like the weeks breakdown of what you learn each week that's that's true um i'm talking about what people have experienced in basic because it is different for, for every single person that's what i found out because any video i ever watched any instructions any my, even my brother going through basic training was completely different from what he said to what i experienced so it's all depending on your training instructors like what their preferences are, how they want to teach you something, because some instructors may make you um, like just do things that aren't like like I because I talked to my other, my brother flight and my sister flight and they like did nothing that we did. They just had different ways of doing things. Like our training instructors would make us say this a certain way, or they'd make us say this whenever they'd say hydrate. You have to say hydrate the entire flight is say, and like they they just get on you for different things like the way one instructor teaches you one thing and then you have to talk to another training instructor for whatever reason and you do it the way that your training instructor taught you and like they don't like it they're gonna go off on you because that's not the way that they teach it and it's just a lot of confusion it's a lot of stress that was the main thing stress that's the biggest thing that's what it's designed to do it's designed to stress you out you're going to think you're not gonna make it you're going to think um, I'm not going to graduate. You, you think it's forever because one week there seems like a month because you're going up 16, 17, 18 hour days almost sometimes before you get back in bed because, you know, especially summer schedule. I was lucky enough to be on winter schedule. So I woke up at 0545 and not 0445 and PT. I PT'd in the afternoon, which was really great. I actually enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, it's mainly just a lot of mental stress, mental stress on you and everything like that but after you get second third third week is right when you start hitting that sweet spot where you're just like okay this still sucks but I'm used to it so that's when you just start getting in the rhythm of things it's not new anymore so you're not because the biggest factors you're gonna get there it's gonna be a lot of yelling a lot of confusion you're not gonna know what to do and it sucks because you you don't you can't you can't figure it out right then and there like you, well, you have to figure it out right then and there because otherwise you get training instructors yelling at you You have people telling you what to do all the time and if you don't figure it out you're screwed pretty much And you're just very flustered because you don't know what to do. You're running running you're like I don't how do I say this? How do I say this? Um, it's just a lot of so getting in that like that routine basically is is what is the hardest part I felt about basic was just getting in the rhythm because you're that first night you're laying in bed far away from home and you're just like, what the hell did I just sign up for? Like, seriously, like I was laying there, I was like, what the hell? Um, but it was well worth it in the end. I'm very glad that I joined the Air Force. Wouldn't, wouldn't go through it again, but uh, definitely would, um, definitely gonna stay in the Air Force, that's for sure, because it, it did suck, but it's only temporary. It's only, you know, eight weeks of your life, and se seven weeks, really, because the, the eighth week, called Airman's Week, which is just like a talk about your feelings week. I like that's it's pff, first thing I ever heard about it. You literally just go, it's a lot more relaxed environment. You still have military training instructors, but they're a lot more relaxed. You can talk to them normal, um, and you kind of can joke around with them, and they'll laugh at you and laugh with you and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that that's really all mostly I have for basic training. Um, I, I mean, that's really all like all I have is like pointless 
facts and tips I can give you. Like people are gonna try to key check you all the time because you have a lot, a key around your neck all the time and an ID badge. I threw mine away because it's so annoying. But you have a key that hangs around your neck, and anytime it flops out or you go in your security drawer and you forget to tuck it back in, someone has to yell key check, and then the entire flight has to yell key check, and it goes on all the freaking time. Like because someone across the bay will be like key check, and then everyone has to yell key check. And if you don't, your training instructor gets mad, but that only goes on for about a week or two. But then people, especially older weakers, don't listen to anything older weakers have to say. If they've been there a long time, like been there a while, like about to graduate, they're going to mess with you a lot. They're going to tell you to double salute female officers. They're going to tell you to salute planes that go overhead. They're going to say salute staff vehicles, even if there's no one in them. They're going to say cup your feet. That was the big one. Cup your feet, trainee. And like you're there and you're flustered so you don't, like you're like, cut my feet. And you start freaking out because you think you're doing something wrong. But um, yeah, there's really just live out of your dirty laundry bag. That's the biggest tip that got me, that passed all my wall locker inspections, like zero, zero to like, I think three demerits out of like a total of 16 I was allotted. Um, on my final evaluation on my wall locker because I lived out of my dirty laundry bag. You're given almost you're given pretty much six of every item. Okay, so you fold three shirts perfectly. Never touch them. Leave them in there. Don't ever touch them. Make them perfect. Three socks. Put them in there. Don't ever touch them. And then just put all the clean clothes in your dirty laundry bag. Your TIs are not gonna know if they're dirty or not. They're not gonna smell them. They're big on sanitation. They're not gonna touch anything that has to do with you because they don't want to get sick. Um, just don't don't have your socks folded like don't have your socks folded like inside out you know how you have a pair of socks and you just fold one inside the other don't do that just stick them in there because you're gonna have mesh bags stick them in there live out of your dirty laundry bag makes it so much easier uh, PT is a joke PT is an absolute joke it is you literally it's strength day run day strength day run day strength day run day and then Saturday you have off and uh, like strength days consist of just push ups and sit ups push ups sit ups and like we'll chest pretty much just chest and core that's all and then some legs if you do half squats or whatnot and then the run days you literally just run for 10 15 minutes at uh, the instructor's pace then you run for another 15 minutes at your own pace and then you do about i want to say about five minute no about a minute of sprints like 10 seconds on 10 seconds off like that and that'll really help your pt score but um yeah, but I mean, if you're not in shape, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. But I mean, I was in shape going in and whatnot. So I hope that helped a little bit. I mean, this is just a video of me making like I mean, I'm <laughs> ask any questions you have because I don't really know what to talk about except just random facts about basic. But hope everyone's doing well. Um, I will make a video about whatever you guys want. So thanks. Cheers.